Hey, welcome to the Gotta Use The Ball series. Guys, welcome, welcome, ladies and gents. Uh, today is the time for Hitmonlee. Now, this series, we use a Pokemon and we go down the tiers. You know, we go down the Pokedex and we build the team around it. And we get some kills with it, some nice performances with it. And today is no exception. <laughs> we do have Hitmonlee. Now, Hitmonlee has this unburden which allows this Pokemon to use uh, several different sets. Now, I was thinking of using a terrain team, but I think the classic unburden Leechy Berry is not as common uh, nowadays. You, uh, you know, and we could use the reversal as well with it, which is fun. Uh, Leechy Berry, when you are at one fourth of the HP, uh, your attack raises by one. Plus reversal at one HP, uh, it's insane damage. Now we have Earthquake to deal with the Toxapexes, Knock Off to deal with the uh, Psychics. Um, even though they shouldn't be switching in too often, uh, it's very strong. Now, um, uh, this is the set, obviously. Uh, next episode will be Hitmon Chan, right? We're gonna be doing this in OU. Hitmon Chan will also be in OU, which is gonna be fun. Um, the next Pokemon is going to be Tapu Lele with the choice specs. We want uh, Psychic Terrain to protect him and Lee against Priori. <laughs> That's the idea anyways. Spec Psyshock, Spec Psychic and Moonblast. Very powerful. Uh, plus Thunderbolt, uh, just in case some Toxapexes do resist. Um, to deal with the fairies, we have first a switching with Corviknight, which is going to be defogging around. And we don't want hazards uh, with this theme if possible. Uh, but also with the Endure, it doesn't really matter that much. But either one has it anyways. Um, they are pretty bad. Um, yeah, Rocky Helmet for the chips is going to help him leave with the reversals against resistant hits. A very nice U-turn for the momentum, obviously, so we can bring it. One of these two um, and do a lot of damage. Just, you know, a defensive Corvid Knight. It's what it does, right? Um, uh, Sash Spin as the Excadrill, uh, another set of mod that's very strong, and this one is specially made to set up on Fables, uh, which Hatebundly has trouble with. Um, so, the idea is that Corviknight, what is this? The, the idea is that Corviknight um, switches on Fable and then U turns out so we can bring Excadrill on it safely or in a soft-boiled or similar. Uh, do a lot of damage that way. A choice card is a rude. I don't know why I felt like the rude could be pretty helpful to deal with the psychics, for example. Pretty neat. Um, Darkest Lariat CC, a support, U-turn, and then Power Whip. Pretty standard set. Uh, not in OU though, but pretty nice. And last but not least, we have a, a, a wall breaker here in Ball Canyon, as well switches into Cofable pretty nicely. Goes for Sludge Waves, Steam Eruptions, Flamethrowers, and Earth Power uh, is the last move. Very, very nice. I think this team could do pretty decent, uh, so he probably can shine and do a lot of damage. This team is very offensive. Um, I think this is the best team for Hippoly, to be honest. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. I hope you guys are excited, and we'll see how this goes. I will show you what battle in which Hippoly does uh, what it's supposed to. So let's go. All right, let's see. We'll have fun. Let's see what we can do this, right? I think just leading with the monkey is all right. I'll do that. Especially for rapid strike is the choice. Uh, it's actually pretty good for me. I might just go for a power whip, trying to pick it up turn one. There we go. That was nice. <laughs> That's how we begin the battle, dude. <laughs> the rude monkey is here, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Volcano is always great, right? We're gonna switch on this. The spikes, uh, I don't care about them. The toxic spikes are, are a little bit of a problem. Uh, but I'm gonna try to get the burn first. Oh, that's some pretty nice damage. And a burn with the crits? God damn. So good. Let's see if now we can pick it up with Earth Power. That'd be great. Almost. That was pretty close. I think now he should switch. Uh, Earth Power does 57, and I'm gonna get his him on the switch into Ladrus. Come on, boy. <laughs> Alright, 
Nita King is here. He seems to have brought Nita King very uh, fast. So I'm gonna go into COVID. Uh, let's see what he does. Just this. We have a little bit of spadev, so we can defog. Uh, sadly, we're gonna take this. It's gonna take. It's gonna do a lot of damage, but we're gonna lose the COVID knight. But it's fine, you know. I think it's just fine. Um, let's just go for this and go for a nice earthquake, because I should be faster than Nido King anytime, right? So I just do a lot of damage here. That's okay. Yep. Yep. Here we go. Um, that's just reversal. Now, Sally, there's the kill. Look at that. <laughs> I have unburdened, so I have so much speed. Now, he's gonna try to kill me with this, but I don't think Tox Effects, like, enjoys this at all. Oh, he has Rocky Helmet. Fuck. Alright. That was well played on his part, to be honest. Well, I wanna thank him for the sand, right? And just win with Excadrill as planned. So you know what, we only got one kill, uh, the opponent kinda just played around it pretty well, but uh, I think it's okay. Oh wait, I'm not Sand Rush, I forgot. But he doesn't know. I have Sash, I just remembered now, so... Not because I saw it, but right when I was doing it. But yeah, that was the battle. Easy battle, uh, the Steve is very strong, he only did his job. Killed Nita King, pretty nice. It could have swept if it wasn't for the Rocky Habit on this, but I should have went for Earthquake, to be honest. I think the switch into Dark Effects was too obvious, but I didn't know about the Rocky Habit. If I went for Earthquake, oh man, that would have been so strong. In fact, that would have been the best play, to be honest. <laughs> but in any case, uh, just to see the power of Feebly in this battle and the potential it could have had if I played better, uh, it's it's fantastic. So. What do you guys think? I think I hope you have enjoyed the quick battle he probably has uh, brought us to OU. And next, next episode is going to be Hitmonchan, same in the OU tier. So I'll see you guys there. Have a good one. Goodbye. <laughs>